How's it going everyone? As always, thank you for being here. Welcome back and God bless you. If this is your first time viewing my channel, please feel free to smack that subscribe button. So just coming to you guys with an update. Uh, I got some more fish in the tank as you can see. So what we're looking at is a couple of squareback antheas, a male and a female. The male is the magenta purple color with the bright purple square on its body, hence the name. And the female is the yellow golden color. To the right, swimming up and down, we have a Midas Blenny. And then in the bottom is our fox face that's been in here since the beginning. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer to the tank. Hopefully the colors remain nice and vivid. All my videos I shoot exclusively with my iPhone 10. So let's just kind of see how this goes now that I got the blues on the tank. So it does get a little bit darker as we approach. I might be able to brighten this up a little bit though. Not so much. That's all right. So anyways, uh, it's been about two and a half weeks. No, actually, you know what? This Saturday will be three weeks that this tank has been up and running. So in three weeks, we've kind of gone through a lot of different stuff. As I showed you guys in my other videos, the tank cycling process, I'm still going through that. The water is still not crystal clear. I do still have some diatoms in the sand. In the video, the water looks pretty clear. Um, it, it's not though, it's, it's pretty cloudy. I think I had some bacterial bloomage going on, which is pretty typical in a, in a new setup as well. However, I have been adding good live bacteria, Dr. Tim's and a couple of other things to the tank to make sure that the fish stay safe the cycling process and it's gonna eat up the nitrate and the ammonia. I am going to be ordering some carbon from Red Sea. Um, I can't remember exactly the name of it. Once I uh, pull it up and I order it and I get it in, I'll do a, you know, a little product overview on it for you guys. It has really good reviews. It's supposed to be specifically designed for a reef aquarium and it's got a lot of porous area. Basically, there's a lot of different carbons out there and you really have to be careful what kind you use. And you wanna make sure that the kinds that you are using, um, you're gonna get the best bang for the buck. So I've uh, watched a couple of videos on this. I did a little bit of research on it and it looks like great stuff. So that's what I'm actually gonna to use to help get my water nice and crystal clear. I've seen videos where somebody had just, you know, a, a ton of phosphate, or not, excuse me, not, yeah, phosphates, I guess you should say. The, the tank almost looked like a yellowy, greenish color. And then within 24 hours, of having that activated carbon in there, the tank was nice and clear again. So I'm kind of hoping that's gonna be, you know, kind of my experience as well. But again, I think part of the reason why my tank is not exactly as pristine as I would like it currently is just because, like I say, it is going through that cycling process. Um, I think my cleaner shrimp might actually be cleaning my anthea. Let's see if I can get underneath here and show you guys. Oh, well, I spooked him out. Sorry about that. I tried. So other than the fish, there's nothing really new going on with the tank. The protein skimmer is still running very well. Uh, the reason we got all this water missing is because I was actually right in the middle of a water change and I said, now you know what, now is as good a time as any is to do an update, so I might as well. So that's what we got going on, guys. A couple of antheas, a Midas bunny, fox face, and then of course my cleaner shrimp. So I just wanted to, you know, just kind of share with you what is new. All right, guys, any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I am going to try to do a Q&A session, so if you guys have questions, please, please, please leave them below. I would love to do a Q&A video. I'm also going to try to pump out a video of, uh, you know, kind of a troubleshooting video, just common things that we may uh, be experiencing within the hobby, things that I've also experienced, and then I'll kind of hit some areas that I, I mean, are that are general problems for pretty much everybody. So it'll be a little troubleshoot video. But please uh, provide some questions for a q and I am interested to know what you guys think or what you guys are having trouble with. All right, take care. God bless. Bye.